What's going on, nation? I'm Scott from MuscularStrength.com, and in today's workout, I'm coming back at you with another Giant Sets workout, but this time it's going to be for chest. So if you missed the last one we did for biceps, I'll post the link to that in the end screens of this video. Now, guys, remember, the purpose of a Giant Sets workout is to get in and out of the gym in 30 minutes or less, utilizing four exercises to completely thrash the muscle group that you're trying to grow. And we do this utilizing all three muscle building mechanisms, mechanical tension, metabolic stress, and muscle damage. But before we get started, guys, the app has been finally released for Android and iPhone. Now, I already do have an Android app. We were trying to release this one as an updated version of the old app, but it just wasn't working to make a long story short. So if you have the old Android app, delete it and download the new Muscular Strength app. And if you're on an iPhone, if you can't find it in the app store yet, it should should be available shortly. It's just the approval process takes longer for iPhone, but it will be there either today or by tomorrow, hopefully the latest. We're just waiting on them, but I'm very excited about this. This is like, this has been like a bottleneck of so many ideas and so many things that I want to do. You guys are going to start seeing all of that relatively soon, but we'll save that for another video and we can just celebrate the launch with today's chest workout. So for today's workout, you're going to do two to three giant sets of four exercises, resting only one to three minutes in between each giant set. And remember, there is no rest periods in between the exercises, all right? That's why it's called a giant set. So exercise one and two, they're going to focus more on overloading the chest. And then the last two exercises, we're going to go for more high volume. So keep that in mind as we do this workout. And you should be able to bring a bench over to a cable machine so that you can run through all four exercises as fast as possible. All right? Don't feel bad about bringing a bench over to a cable machine. It's totally fine. And you're going to be done with your workout in 20 to 30 minutes. Maybe even find somebody to do it with you. That could be fun. Exercise number one is going to be a flat dumbbell bench press and for this movement I want you overloading as much as you possibly can we're taking advantage of the main function of the chest which is pressing forward overload as much as possible go all the way down and all the way up with every single repetition we're working with full range of motion here and again you're completing eight repetitions exercise number two is going to be a decline push-up so you're going to drop those dumbbells and then just hang off the side of the bench and do your repetitions and your goal here is to do eight to twelve and remember with the decline push-up the reason why we're doing it is because it's going to allow us to place a bit more emphasis on those upper chest muscle fibers also, guys, you're going to be fatiguing out your triceps and your delts. And now for the third exercise, we're going to be getting into a bit more volume. You're going to do a high to low cable fly. And remember, when we're doing high to low, that's going to allow us to place a bit more emphasis on the muscle fibers in the lower part of the chest. Now, granted, yes, the entire chest is one muscle group, but we can place emphasis in certain areas by changing the angles of the exercises that we're doing. So for the high to low cable chest fly, you're going to do 20 repetitions. And you're going to maintain proper form throughout the entire set. Don't just flail your arms back and forth. And for the fourth and final exercise, you're going to do a plate press into a pullover. And guys, this is much more than just moving your hands up and then bringing them over your head. You want to make sure you grab two plates that are light enough so that you can handle 15 repetitions. And also keep in mind that you're going to be pushing your hands together as hot as you can. Pushing your hands together is going to light up that chest like you've never felt before. It's going to give you such an incredible pump in your chest that you're probably going to have a hard time completing all 15 repetitions. But that's what we want. We want muscle fatigue, complete muscle fatigue by the end of every single giant set so that by the time you complete two to three of them and you leave the gym, your chest is absolutely fried. So if you're having a hard time with mind muscle connection with your chest, utilize the first two exercises to overload and press as much weight as you can. And then use the second two exercises because we're doing high volume to really try to focus and concentrate on the areas that you're working. So that's it for your chest workout. If you want to combine this with your shoulder day or triceps day or do chest, triceps, and shoulders all in one day, you totally can. And if you missed the biceps giant set routine, remember, I'm going to link to it in the end screens of this video. If you enjoyed the workout, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment below, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.
Dice, 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 dice,